Hi. Hi. Awesome. We are live. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is fantastic to be here today. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about ways for moms to make money from home. It's me, Lynn Hay Simon, and I'm here with Lauren Kinghorn from Inspiring Mompreneurs. Hi, everybody. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting Good. me, Lynn. It's an absolute pleasure. So I first, before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that we're going to be giving away a 250 rand coupon for, for a kid. So just leave a comment in below this video and Lauren is going to choose a winner at the end of the video. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to take part. So, okay, most of the people on my page know who I am. I'm Lynn Hayson. <laughs> Kaboki is my website. And hi, Leonora. Lovely to see you again. Hi, Leonora. <laughs> okay, so... I met Lauren about four years ago, I think, on the Wealthy Affiliate website, which we will talk a bit more after this. Uh, but Lauren, you can say a little bit about yourself so everyone can get to know you. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm known as a visionary digital entrepreneur. I'm always into um, different stuff. I don't know, I like trying different things. Um, the main thing I do is Inspiring Mompreneurs is my main website, and that's where I interview mom entrepreneurs, mom inventors, um, just incredible moms who've done incredible things. But what I've noticed is that I also meet these amazing women who are not necessarily moms yet, and I only became a mom at 40. So I totally get it. Women are just incredible. <laughs> Whether they are moms or not moms, they're just amazing. And so I'm starting a new brand now called Fempreneurs Unite. Oh, wow. awesome. Yes, I've seen your group on LinkedIn, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's one of the things I'm into, yeah. Basically yeah. just shining the spotlight on amazing, incredible women, just like you guys all coming onto this, <laughs> all coming onto our live with us today. Sure, we've got a lot of ladies joining. We've got Vicky, Denise, yeah. Natalie, Lenora, oh, Darrell, Dore. Hi. Yeah. Wow, yeah. ladies, thank you. It's awesome to have you all joining us today. Okay, so um, yeah, where, where I met, met Lauren was actually on a um a website that teaches you how to blog. So we're going to hit our first way to make money online. Let me just get my categories and everything up here. There we go. So Obviously, the thing that I'm most passionate about is blogging because that's what I do and that's what Lauren does as well. And I met Lauren at um, a website called Wealthy Affiliate and they give you all the tools, all the training, all the support, absolutely everything you need to learn how to make money online through a blog. And it's a wonderful place to meet people, which is where I met Lauren. So you're one of the first people that I really connected with um, on that website and on my blogging, my purely blogging journey. I've met a lot of amazing women through working online when I had an online store. But my blogging journey, I think you and I really connected um, really quickly. And what was amazing as well is that there was this huge community with millions of people, or I, just, I don't know if it's millions, maybe like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people on this website. But um, you and I live <laughs> within 150 kilometers of each other. So we actually met up in person, which was quite amazing. Um, it was an awesome experience. So where has my thing gone? Oh, we got Jessica, Simone. Hi, Simone. Sancha, Gillian. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, maybe you would like to, Lauren, explain to you. Oh, you're gone. Ladies, Lauren's gone. I hope she's going to be back soon. I was going to ask Lauren if she wanted to explain how to make money online through blogging. Um, but she has now disappeared. So we'll wait for her to make her way back and I will kind of get on with it in the video. Hi, Ruby, Tembi, Leticia, sure. Leanne, wow. Okay, so blogging is what I do. It's basically where you have a website, you create content and you usually share on a specific topic. Like my website, Kaboki, is mainly, it's women, it's... Um, parenting, family, that type of thing. And I create content and then I monetize this content in various ways. 
Um, let me just see where Lauren is. Maybe she sent me a WhatsApp message. I'm just going to say, you've gone. Okay. Um, what I love about blogging is that I'm going to go through a number of different ways to make money from home. And blogging, you can basically, there comes Lauren. I can see she's about to appear back here. Um, when you have a blog, you can use that to, there's Lauren. Um, oh, there she's back. Okay. I'm like, sorry, my Wi-Fi went down, so I switched to another connection. Sorry about that. Okay. So I was just basically explaining a little bit about blogging. Maybe you'd like to take over and just um, tell the ladies, you know, um, what blogging means. What blogging means? <laughs> what blogging okay. means? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so, so basically, so basically what I know, but just keep it, keep it summarized. Okay, uh, quickly, is we create niche websites. So I actually have a number of them. Lynn has a number of them. So essentially, you put up a website and it's about a particular niche. So for example, I've got one called Happy Human Pacifier, which was all about breastfeeding um, and started with lots of breastfeeding interviews and that sort of thing. And it, it's kind of got diluted over the years, but it's now about the parenting and home and whatever, anything moms will be interested in. And that's how Kaboki is as well. And then, but we have other websites as well. So blogging is basically just writing content and putting up pictures. Um, it's not what it used to be. Blogging used to be, I think, where people would just talk about themselves only. But I think it's changed quite a bit where people do interview other people and write articles about interesting subjects. And you know, that the idea with blogging, I think for blogging has moved quite a bit where it's become this thing where people really want to help people with certain things. So there'll be a lot of posts on how to do this and this and this. And yes. you know, list posts of ideas for people, like ways to make money from home, just like this video we're creating. And in fact, um, YouTube has become another form of blogging in a sense, it, or vlogging, well, yeah, video logging. Instead of writing it, you are doing it on video. So you don't even have to know how to write. You could actually nowadays become a blogger or a vlogger just by going on video like we're doing today. But it, it's not much? just YouTube now. There's people that are social media bloggers. So it's only on yeah. Instagram, or only on Facebook. Um, so you don't actually have to have your own website. It's obviously more beneficial, I believe, to have your own website. But you can do it, you know, you can, you can be a social media blogger. Yeah. yeah. So um, I see yeah. that Denise here is asking, are there any other ways to make money besides blogging? Yes. For sure. Yeah. Um, blogging is always, I mean, I know I always like blogging, 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 but that's what I do. And what I love about blogging is that all the ways I'm going to mention below are going to be, you can do all of them on your website and incorporate everything. And I, Lauren and myself, have basically incorporated almost everything in this list into our blogs at some stage, which is really exciting. So you can blog, you can add multiple ways of making money. And, um, even if you have your own business, it's fantastic to add a blog to grow your business as well. And you can make more money in different ways, no matter what your business is, if you add a blog. So it kind of really broadens your world and makes it really exciting and fantastic to make money. So let's head on over to my next point. Um, creating well, digital time time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 22 months. Sorry, I'm reading Leanne Hancock message here how do you ladies find the time um is that is lb my little boy is 22 months and it keeps me extremely busy yeah oh my goodness that was a big <laughs> i have to mention that for me i only started when my son became two and only when he started going to school three mornings a week and it was really difficult because I had to do whatever I had to do in those three hours from nine to 12 in the morning that he was at school three mornings a week. And I also had his like nap after school and then he dropped the nap. So it was literally just those three mornings, three hours a morning. And there's also groceries to do and, uh, you know, your housework and all that stuff. So, you, you know, every year that your child gets older, you can claw back a little bit more time for your online business. Um, but it's, yeah, it, it, I find it very hard. I wouldn't have been able to do it in those first two years, personally. Um, you know, you, you need help. You need someone to help you then, or you need a nanny, or you need, I don't know, what, something. 
<laughs> yeah, um, I actually I actually started working online when my daughter was about four months old. Um, and so I started a new project. I launched Kaboki when my daughter was four months old. And it was it was really hard. And in fact, if you read some of my first blog posts on my website, most of it was like, I'm dying. <laughs> Help me, you know. But I think, you know, with, with blogging, it's, it's about keeping it real. So if you're struggling, I mean, how many other women there that have got a 22-month-old little boy is struggling as well. So, it's and that's what I love about blogging is you can incorporate your life into your work, and people get it. So, yeah, I mean, he's all over the show. Yeah, uh, sorry, I I get that. I mean, I can't I can't um, tell you how to keep him quiet or <laughs> or make it easier as such. Uh, that's a really hard hard age group. But um, you know, with blogging, like I said, you can incorporate it into your your work, which is fantastic. Um, and now we can also talk about some of the stuff that you can do. Um, hi, Kelly Nerds. No problem. You are late. Um, so, yeah, creating digital products. Um, and I think this is a fantastic way to make money. And you can do it in a variety. There's so many different types of digital products that you can make. Um, it takes a bit of time to make it. But the beauty of making a digital product is once you've made it, you can sell that one product over and over again. It's not like a T-shirt design that you make and then you've got to buy the material, you've got to make it up, you've got to do the print, you've got to have the stock, you've got to send it out, and you've got to keep doing that in the expense all the time. With a digital product, you create the product once and then you sell it over and over and over again. So examples of digital products would be courses, ebooks, um, different types of printables. And I know Lauren at the moment is busy with a couple of courses, as am I on one of my websites. So yeah. maybe you can share a bit about creating courses. Okay, yeah. So I've, I've been wanting to get into courses for a while. I love, um, I love public speaking and I love teaching and I've, I've done quite a lot of different workshopping and, and whatever. So I, I really wanted to get into this world of creating digital products um, and specifically courses online. But, um, and I thought, you know, I'm going to start really, really small. Is it small? Because these are the shortest courses you can kind of put up. And it also, I don't have to go and promote it myself. So I started with a platform called Skillshare. So with Skillshare, you can take any skill that you have, like say now you know how to cook really brilliantly and you can make this amazing meal. You can go and show yourself cooking this amazing meal and share that skill, teaching somebody how to make, I don't know, something different that nobody knows how to make. Maybe you know how to make babuwa tea and you know you want to teach people how to do that. Whatever it is. So you go on and you teach them the skill. But um, yeah, so I put up my first course yesterday which is on how to read bubble which we're going to talk about later. It's another another um, option of making money from home. Um, but unfortunately it wasn't as easy as I thought. I did put up the hour of um, video. It's like you're supposed to put up five minute videos and, and, and then it gets to an hour, blah, blah, blah. So you put up all these videos and it was a lot of work. Okay, it took me a good few weeks to get it going. And then um, they rejected it. Yeah. They said that I didn't follow the rules. So I'm not really sure which rules I've broken. So I've tried to like change a little bit my description, whatever. I'm waiting for them to get back to me and see if they can put my <laughs> put my course back up. Otherwise, I have to move on to the next platform that I recommend, which is called Udemy. So on Udemy, you can actually make more money than on Skillshare. Um, but generally, the courses are longer. So they can go from an hour to maybe even three hours long. Um, and it is, it's a bit more complicated to actually put it up uh, they ask you a lot more detail and you have to create like a little marketing video and like all kinds of stuff. But I think it'll be a good process. So I'm going to do that next. And then I'm going to try a platform called Teachable. And then there's Thinkific. And, there's, you know, there's a bunch of platforms that you can put courses on. Um, but the, the idea is that you first need to create one. And generally courses, they could be anything. They could be like a written course or an email course. Um, but the way the world is going at the moment, most courses are video courses. Yeah, and I think what you highlighted so here is that you can, there are plenty of platforms online where you can go and it's really nicely set up where you can add your course to that website. And a lot of them have already got their own audience. So you don't really have to market your course. You just have to create it and put it on the website. 
and from there on you will yeah. get sales um there are other course other other websites where um you would add your course but you still got to kind of promote it as well yourself and then or you can go the route that i'm going at the moment where i've actually created a website for bloggers uh women bloggers and want to be bloggers where I am at this moment creating courses and I'm adding it onto the website very slowly because yeah, I've got the kids, but um, I've got an audience. So I don't feel that I actually need to have a website that provides facilities for a course. So I'm going a slightly different route to Lauren. Of course, it will probably take longer for me to make money, but I will have full control over what I'm doing. It can look how I want. I don't have to stick to anybody's stupid rules because it's my website, which is partly why I don't like rules. So I wanted yeah. to um, to do it my way. So yes, so that's online courses. Um, the next thing you can do is create eBooks. And Lauren was speaking about creating like courses for recipes. You can also put your recipes into an eBook or you can make your your course into an ebook and not sell it on a course site. You could actually go and sell it in a variety of different ways. You can do it on your own website if you have your own blog. You can go and sell it on, like I've created an ebook about addiction. I've sold it on Fiverr. I've sold it on um, a website called SEO Clacks. I've sold it on a website called Smashwords. You can also go onto Amazon and sign up as an Amazon self publisher. And you can create your ebooks. Um, they do a lot of the, you know, the, the technical stuff for you. you. You just need to write the book. And then you put it up there, it puts it in all the right formats, and they've got the audience, so your ebook will sell. In fact, my older sister that's down from UK that I just saw recently, she told me that she's pumping out um, fiction ebooks and selling them on Amazon. And she said, you know, she made a hundred, I think. On Wednesday or Tuesday, she told me that she published a book on Friday and it's already made $140, or £140, I think, because she's wow. in the UK. So, um, of course, she is an author, so she um, she knows how to write. So I think it, it takes a lot quicker for her to write than it would be maybe for someone else that's not used to writing. But um, it's a great way to make money online. If you've always wanted to be an author, you know, years back, you would have had to get a publisher and then they print the book. And it will cost you a lot of time and effort and money probably to get yourself to be like a published author. Now it's easy as can be. So um, if you've got an interest in writing, go and do it. Um, there's nothing stopping you. Um, and then the other thing that you could do is free printables. Have you made free printables, Lauren? I actually haven't made Not free printables, printables, no. Oh, I've created but a few. I'm Sorry, I'm sure it'll be really easy to do on Canva though. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I've done Canva. I've done. I've made some shopping list templates. Um, I've done a couple of things. I'm not very good. I'm not very techy, but I've done it, and I use it as to give away for free on my website to get subscribers and get people to sign up. But there's lots of people that create things like um, checklists for birthdays. Um, oh, what one that's really cute and lovely is, you know, when your baby starts, I mean, not when your baby starts growing, your baby's always growing, but when you um, take photos of one month, three months, six months, and you put the little stickers or the little, you know, the little cards next to them, and then you yeah. take a photo, um, you can make those and sell them. I mean, those sound like hotcakes, apparently. Um, you know, the labels for, yeah. for your clothing and for your, um, your stationing, all of that. You can do all of that sort of thing. I mean, the world is your oyster. If you can just, and, and it's not hard to do. Like Lauren said, you don't have to be a graphic designer anymore. You just got to know how to, um, you know, fiddle around with a program like Canva and figure out how to make stuff. So, yeah. Um, and just quickly, Etsy I see that there are. Site. If you want to sell stuff, Etsy is a great site to sell. If you've recreated yes. it that way and you can create those kind of digital principles and things, that you can sell them on Etsy. They do have a few rules and stuff you've got to get to understand, but it's a great place to, it's a great marketplace for that. Um, I see people want to talk about YouTube. My son is six and he also wants to be a YouTuber. He's like so, so it's my daughter. Yeah, he watches all those videos. Of, you know those unboxing, obviously there's the unboxing ones, but he's much more into the Lego videos where those kids sit there and they create Lego. And he's done a couple of Lego videos and I had them up on my on my one YouTube page, but I think I need to give him his own YouTube page so that it's more anonymous because obviously people can trace him through me. I don't know, could be complicated. And YouTube has just um, got quite a few rules now about kids. 
Um, yes, that's they've, new. Just, yeah. Yeah, they've changed everything. You have to specify if your video is aimed at children. So I haven't really gone in and looked at all the rules. I think once you get to know the rules, then you can, it's a good idea to get your kids YouTubing. Why not? I mean, kids are making fortunes, millions, millions and millions and millions of dollars YouTubing. Yeah. Um, uh, if YouTube is your thing, if you want to make money YouTubing, there's a brilliant woman to follow, and I'll, I'll put her name in the comments below later. Her name is Sunny Lenarduzzi. It's quite a surname. Sunny Lenarduzzi. Once you get onto YouTube, you get to discover her, and there's also Gillian Perkins. They are really, really both great, amazing women who teach you how, how to do YouTube. And I was watching one, um, uh, one of Sunny's videos this morning, and she was saying how much money she makes on YouTube or where she makes her money from. And it was really interesting because, you know, everybody thinks you just make money from YouTube because of AdSense, but that's the tiny money. <laughs> the ads don't bring in that much, eh? <laughs> no, she makes 2,000, because she's got hundreds of thousands of followers and she gets hundreds of thousands of views. And even in her most viewed video, she's made two and a half thousand dollars from AdSense. So again, advertising is not your major way to make money online. She says most of her money comes from her courses. Again, oh, so at yes. me, it always goes back to creating digital products. If you start creating your own digital products, whether you're a YouTuber or a blogger, um the, having your own digital products is really where the money is and I, that's what i would recommend you do sooner rather than later i took four years to get to my digital products i kept talking about doing it and yes you have to build up courage and you have to build up you know you get used to talking and you get used to writing and you get used to creating images and you do learn a lot of skills along the way but listen don't wait start making digital products first <laughs> Because you can hone your skills as you go along. That's what I'd recommend. Perfect. Okay. Uh, regarding all the comments, I see there are loads of comments coming on, coming yeah. in. And my electricity, thank you, ESCOM, is going off at 12 o'clock. So we're going to run through a couple of the more. We're going to yeah. keep running through all the points. And then um, we will come back. And later on today, when the electricity is back, I will come and reply to all the comments. Um, because there's some fantastic questions being asked. Um, I love this stuff. It makes me so excited. So, okay, what's the next point that I've got here? I bet it's affiliate marketing. Let's see. Next item. Yeah, I think it yes. is. Yes, affiliate marketing. So, um, <laughs> I, I love affiliate marketing. So, yeah. the reason why I love it is that we're talking about Canva. We're talking about um you know, different things you can do, different yeah. courses, where you can publish the courses. We're talking about my blogging community I've created. Um, I've got an affiliate link. So if you join my website, you can get people to join via an affiliate link. I haven't actually monetized my website yet, but that will come later. Um, but you, affiliate marketing is basically where you are almost like an external sales rep for other companies. So any website you go to, it could be a service, it could be a product website, scroll down to the bottom and at the bottom, um, that bottom footer, just have a look in the, um, in the thing there if it says affiliate program. And you can very often, even without a website, sign up for an affiliate program. And what happens if you get approved is you can then start promoting that company's products. And if anybody, you, you then get a, um, a unique link for yourself. And you share that link via email, via social networks, via WhatsApp, through your website. And if anybody signs up and buys through your link, you then earn commission. And sometimes this can be recurring commission. So it's a fantastic way to make money online. And I mean, things like um, uh, Lauren mentioned Etsy. They've got an affiliate program, don't they? Etsy, Target. I'm not on Amazon, I think Etsy's got, I'm not on Etsy either. Uh, what's the other one? It's. Um, I can tell you that Skillshare and Udemy and Canva all have. And Teachable. And even <laughs> Redbubble has an affiliate program. So, yeah, and Teachable. So, basically, anything you can learn online generally has an affiliate program. And so, 
the, yes. the way I like to do affiliate marketing, because there's, there's very different ways. And at, at, when, when we first got onto Wealthy Affiliate, I noticed how most of the affiliate marketers were working. And what a lot of them were doing is they were going and finding like scams online. And they were, oh, no, no. You know, and I absolutely hated that. And I thought, no, affiliate marketing is not going to be for me because I do not want to be exposing scams online. I know that, you know, there's people are doing brilliantly out of it and they're making serious money. But because what they do is they go and they look for all these scams and then they, they type their little review about it. And then they say, oh, but this is what I recommend. That's not really a great way. That's going to just scam you. But I recommend wealthy affiliates. And then they give you the link to their wealthy affiliate, right? But that's not me. I don't want to be a police. I don't want to be telling people like what's wrong all day. That would bore me to tears. Yeah. So the only affiliate programs I ever recommend or ever talk about are the ones that I really love and use. Um, and so that's, that's the right way. way to do it. Yeah, that's how yeah. I do affiliate marketing. So it's very different. So whatever I find, like if, if so Amazon, for example, Amazon has an affiliate program um, where you can sell anything. If you find a book you love, on Amazon, you can pop a link to that book. And obviously selling books isn't gonna make you a huge amount of money, but if you sell lots of them over time, you will make some money. Um, and if you sell bigger ticket items, like maybe you wanna do a website that's about home and house care and I don't know, what do you call it, housekeeping. <laughs> you know, what we do every day. And you wanna put, put up, you know, fridges <laughs> and washing machines and you wanna write posts about that. Like, I don't know why I love my, you know vacuum cleaner <laughs> i don't know but those are like slightly bigger ticket items that you can make a bit more money from i'm just like it's just an idea it's that would also no. bore me to tears i have to be honest because housekeeping bores me to tears but it has no to no be. house housekeeping yeah. is boring but um just on that uh for a kid the voucher that we're giving away today on this video for a kid is an online store in South Africa that does baby kids, all sorts of, you know, parenting stuff. They've got bottles, they've got feeders, um, they've got the most adorable little toys and like those little stuffed elephants. They've got amber TV necklaces, all the stuff that we need to use as mothers when we have babies. And they've got an affiliate program. So you can go through to their website and you can sign up to be an affiliate. And I've got an affiliate link for you to be an affiliate. <laughs> So you can grab that off. You know, I mean, you can grab that off my website. Um, I'll be adding this video to YouTube, and then I'll be adding it to a blog post, which I'll be sharing, which will have a couple of links that you ladies can check out. Everything as well, and everything will be written, you know, nice and organised there as well. So you can go and reference that without having to watch the video again. So yeah, affiliate marketing for me is really nice because. I mean, I, I make money in a variety of ways, and sometimes I get paid to promote stuff. One of the one of the ladies asked, um, you know, if you blog, do you promote other companies? Yes, I do. That's part of one of the ways I make money. And um, but I kind of like the affiliate marketing, and that's because it's exactly what Lauren said. It's stuff that I use, stuff that I love, that I go and share about. It's not someone else paying me to write about a product or paying me to promote a product. I like it when it's something I'm passionate about and I see it and I think that is stunning. That I want to share on my website with my readers. So that is why I've mentioned affiliate marketing. And you can, like I say, you can do it through your website, email, social media, WhatsApp, whatever. And also Jamie Lee's question, which is the best site to use to create my own website? So Wealthy Affiliate is the best site to create, in our opinion. Lynn and I both created our websites on Wealthy Affiliate. And there's a number of reasons why it's really, really great. One of them is that they give you they, they actually, you can host up to 50 websites with Wealthy Affiliate every month. You still have to buy each domain name, but they in, 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 the, in the beginning, they give you two free websites, which are not your own domains. It's called whatever your name is that you choose, .siterubix.com, and it's managed WordPress sites. And then they teach you WordPress. So you can go on and for absolutely nothing, you can do the first course, and so it's like a try before you buy system, essentially. So you, you can do the first course on Wealthy Affiliate where they teach you how to create your own website and you can do it on a free website. And then if you decide that blogging is for you, then you can upgrade. And that's what I did. I actually was on Wealthy Affiliate for two months before I actually made Happy Human Pacifier on my actual domain and started building my own actual websites. 
Um, but you, by, by then I already had a few pages up. I had you know, done a whole lot of things and you can do that all free. So it's a great, great program. That's what we recommend. And of course, in Lynn's post, she does give you a link to Wealthy Affiliates so you can join Wealthy Affiliate through her link and try it free and decide if it's for you. And they have a also, great and a way to make money. Sorry, Lynn. Or if you like Lauren more, <laughs> you can go to her website and click on her. <laughs> Hello. You know, I'm not going to hold them on my screen here. You here as well. So Lauren's also going to get to it here to on YouTube and she'll write her own post on her website. So you can go follow her on Facebook or wherever and you can also sign up for her stuff. I'm not I'm not going to hold everybody here. So there's more than enough to go around. Sharing the love, sharing the <laughs> things. Okay. Here's the next option, and this is sell physical products. Now, I don't know if you ladies know, but when I first started Kaboki, it was an online store, and that's before I learned about blogging. I learned about blogging through trying to get people to buy my products, and I quickly realized I actually don't need physical products. So, um, but there's lots of things that you can do. You don't need to do it on a website. You can do, um, you know, DIY crafty stuff like knitting or sewing, uh, whatever it is that you want to do. In fact, as a child, I fell asleep every single night to the sound of my mother's sewing machine or knitting machine going. My mother used to make loads and loads and loads of jerseys, and that's how she brought extra income into the house household and um, helped support us when we were younger. In fact, my mother, um, my dad dropped out of university. And my mother was knitting jerseys and working to put my dad to university when he decided he wanted to go back and there was no money. So um, she actually put my dad to university and then she had kids and my dad then took over and supported after he got his engineering degree. So us women are powerful, you know. Everyone looks at my dad like, you're so successful and my mom's just a housewife. Um, that is not the case. We've got so much potential. And, you know, homemade goodies are so popular. Um, another thing is food. You can do, you know, party food, cupcakes. You can do the party packs. You can do um, lunches for people at work. You can do home-cooked meals. I mean, I would love to buy home-cooked meals that I can just, like, throw on the table because, yeah, <laughs> oh, you, yeah you relate. Um, so there's so much you can do. Um, and then there's also you can, you know, there's some websites that you can use to create products and they sell the products on that site. And this is where I hand over to you, Lauren. You know what you gotta do with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if none of you have heard of print on demand, that's something I wanna tell you about now. So I just started on a, a, a site last month called Redbubble. Redbubble is a print on demand website. So very simply what they do, they're based in Australia, in Melbourne, Australia, but they have like bases all over the world. Um, and what happens is, you, all you have to do is create a design. So you create your own design. Um, I am not a graphic designer by any means. We learned how to do design on Canva. We do not use Photoshop or GIMP or any of those fancy Adobe Illustrator. I am not an artist at all. In fact, I, I did do art school and I was rubbish at it, really rubbish. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this isn't about, you don't have to create a design because I've looked on Redbubble. So what happens with Redbubble is you create your design. So say now it could be words. Have you noticed? I went around the shops the other day and I saw how many t-shirts and blouses and dresses and things are just words. They're just words yeah, these days. Yeah, I've so seen it. Is pluck up something that has some cool words on. So, for example, I have a breastfeeding site, so I can create a little a little meme or something that says like "Mama makes liquid gold," or um, you know, and and then you put that on a little baby grow or whatever, or a little baby sh shirt, or yeah, and then the mom's one says something like um, "I make milk. What's your superpower?" Um, you know, those kind of things. So you go and you go on Pinterest. And you look up all these memes and stuff, all those ones that we were laughing at when like our kids were like two bricks and a ticky high and we were checking out all these memes. You go put those on t-shirts, on mugs, on cell phone covers, on computer um, bags, on, um, oh my goodness, shower curtains, bath mats, 
comforters, do they? But you, actually, you don't put them on. You just pop your design up onto Redbubble, and they go and print it on the products for you. And then you make the commission every time anyone, anywhere in the world, buys your design. So they're going to buy the product from Redbubble. Redbubble's going to create the product for them. They're going to print it. They're going to post it. Um, they're going to send it out to your person and uh, your customer or their customer, really. And then they're going to pop you the commission because you created the design. How cool is that? So basically, you're going to have your own brand. You could, if you decided to go for like a full-on branding thing, like maybe you wanted to do all kabuki stuff and everybody wanted to have something that said kabuki on it, um, you know, you go and you put your branded stuff on all your little goodies. Oh, and it's also mags and like travel mags and funky things. What is and the laptop bags. I'm, I'm sure that I love uh, I'll, yeah. put you, I'll put the link down below to uh, a little... Um, a little post I wrote the other day about seven ways artists can make money on Redbubble. But it's not just artists, like I said. You could just be someone who has like, some funny ideas. <laughs> and you, you don't even have to be technical about it because I've seen on so many T-shirts, I mean, it's a one-word. It says believe. Uh, yeah, you can believe. say smile. smile. I mean, you yeah. know, and oh, these things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the so I, I think it's exciting. Oh, and let's yeah. go back to the previous yeah. point. Redbubble has an affiliate program, so you yeah. can go and you can promote Lauren's products with your affiliate link, and you can make money. Lauren can make money, and it's amazing. Um, you can use. Can you use your own affiliate link for your own products? Uh, yeah, it's, that's a little bit tricky. They don't want oh. you to use. Oh, your to promote your own yeah, like the article that I had to write for Redbubble, the, the one article I wrote for them, they said, don't use your affiliate link to sell your own store. They don't like you to, yeah. So you okay. kind of separate the two out, the affiliate and your store, which is a little tricky, but anyway, it, that's their rules. And so it's yeah. the rules. But you know what you can also do? You can pop up a YouTube video about you creating your Redbubble store. So that's the other thing I did. So after I created this Redbubble store, I, that's when I created the um, training on Skillshare was how to create yes. a red bubble store, okay, which unfortunately Skillshare is closed. But they um, didn't know. Gonna, uh, as soon as I get it, it will be up on Udemy, it will be up on Teachable, it will be up somewhere. It will be available for you. Um, yeah. But so you, once you learn a new skill like that, you can go and teach it and make money on the end of the digital products. So I'm selling physical products and digital products and it's all to do with red bubble does that make any sense anyway but uh, on the selling physical products side there are other sites other than red bubble and uh, in fact amazon even does this they have something called merch by amazon or amazon merch and basically what happens is it's the same thing except i think they mainly only use t-shirts and stuff but yeah. i've heard that the quality of the is not really good um, on Amazon and so it's something I would avoid I would rather stick with Redbubble it costs a little bit more to buy a product from Redbubble but you know you're going to get a quality product so there's not a lot of returns and stuff not that you have to worry about returns but you do in a sense because you're putting your your stuff out yeah. there so you want to know that it's on something good another one is called Society6 so you could try Society6 there's one called Zazzle apparently Zazzle has loads of different products you can put stuff onto so Zazzle's worth looking into um, and what is the other good one? Oh, of course and Printify Printify links in with Etsy so you can do stuff on Printify when you get really sussed about this and really know what you're doing they also have very good quality products and you can go on Printify and then link your store to your Etsy store. And yeah, that's also really good. Print on demand is a great thing to do. Really different. Something you can do from home. And the great thing is I've seen people are making like hundreds of thousands of dollars on the site. Hey? I'm not talking so many. Some of the guys who have got lots of designs up there, maybe they've put up 100, 150 designs, 200 designs. But over the years, they are making serious money from these things. Once you start getting sales, it becomes like a tap that you cannot stop, you know, and it just, you know, you get more and more sales. Sales beget sales, if that makes sense. The more sales you make, the more sales you make. Um, because and then what happens is these sites start showing your products as the popular products and they come up in the feed and, you know, it's really exciting. 
Yeah, and what I love about that is that if you're going to make your own physical products, like it's the same as the, you know, um, what was the one I was talking about before, the, the digital products. It's almost like a, this is almost like a cross between a, a physical and a digital product. But once yeah. again, all you have to do is create that design once. Go there, mm. put it on once. And, mm. you know, then you can keep earning over and over and over again from that little bit of work that you've done. And like you say, as you add more designs, you'll start earning more and more, and it just kind of rolls on it, on itself. And that's what I'm working on, and I know you're working on as well, is basically working on residual income. And, you know, a lot of the moms are asking about how do you find the time, how do you do this? I look at it, I'm building a future for myself and my family. And my idea is not that I'm going to work until I'm 70 years old and work myself to the bone and keep working eight, nine, ten hour days. My idea is the longer I work, the less I'm going to work and the more I'm going to earn, the more I'm going to rest and play with my kids. And I think that's ultimately all of our goals as a mother. And I also want to set up something that I can hand over to my kids one day. So if I've set up a good business, I can hand that over to my children and they can take over and I can show them how to do it. And I can literally just like, there you go. Because I think in this day and age, I mean, it's getting increasingly harder to get the money for studying, get your kid into university, to get your child into a job. I mean, it's a, it's becoming a really, really brutal world out there. Mm. So, and I think the job market has changed. Rather teach your children these skills, rather teach them how to make money online because that's the way exactly. the world's going. Exactly. Children don't even exactly. need to get a job. So like like people have been mentioning on the comments, I mean, become a YouTuber, <laughs> be a, set up your red bubble store. I think you have to be 16 to set up your own red bubble store. And, you know, yeah. so you can teach your teenagers how to actually start making money. <laughs> become but, but you, Why not? Talking about YouTubing and, and all of this, something that I've seen is that um, my, my kids are not into this. Oh, it's awful. Um, they're into this, they, they, they're like watching those kids playing games online. So there's the guys that they're into, Pungans and Jelly. I mean, what sort of a name is Jelly? I must be getting really old. <laughs> Jelly, Pungans, um, Preston, I don't know. They've got all these guys that they follow. And these guys have their own product ranges. So my kid the other day says to me, I want a Jelly T-shirt. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, so you got to see how... But uh, all these things kind of fit into each other. It's like it's absolutely incredible. Yeah. So Once I think you're in the online world, Wester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was one other thing that you wanted to bring up, Lauren. It was on physical products. Was drop shipping. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you know what? I also have a drop shipping store. So first of all, this drop shipping company is like the biggest drop shipping company in the world approached me because I was a blogger. And they said, would you like to write a post for us about drop shipping? I said, sure. They paid me money for it. I was like, wow, great. Sponsored post. I'm happy. I'll go for it. Um, then they came and then they said, oh, and what if we gave you this plugin to create your own little drop shipping store? Um, would you want that plugin for free? So I said, yeah, okay, give it to me. I'll set it up. And it took me months to actually get it going and then I, I popped it I popped these things up and it's like I don't know I actually now have a drop shipping store I don't know what the hell's going on in it though I don't even know if I connected everything right but the product somehow arrived in my store <laughs> and I don't even know if anybody's buying them or not I actually I don't know anything about drop shipping but it's there and you know they offered it to be free and yeah you know, maybe I'll make some money out of it sometime but with drop shipping it's like with anything you still do need to promote so if you're doing drop shipping and it's on your own website, remember if you don't have a huge audience, you're not going to get a lot of sales. Whereas if you're on something like Redbubble or Merch by Amazon or Printify or whatever, you actually are getting sales because they are a destination website. So yes, you can promote it to your own audience, but I mean, my first sale that I got on Redbubble was not somebody I know. It was somebody in Spain. I don't, I don't know who, I don't know who the person was. It just said someone in Spain bought your product, and you know they sent it from Amsterdam to them or something. I don't know. And that was like, wow, okay. So you know, maybe I did do the right tags on all of my little things, or maybe you know, getting my message out to the world was a good idea. <laughs> because on that store, I use it to get my message out to the world. So it's like be love, be happy, I don't know, be light, you know, that kind of, like I have those kind of stuff, like, and the juggle is real, which we all experience. Oh, I love those ones. 
popular design. Yeah, so the one that the, the first design that sold was a design that said believe in miracles because I'm studying a course in miracles at the moment. So yeah, and I love it. So yeah, believe in miracles was like my first design. I sold my second design. I sold was the juggle is real and isn't it? It is really real. <laughs> I think okay. to just back up to drop shipping, if anyone doesn't know what it is, it's basically being a middleman. So you can go and buy products, you know, from a big store and sell it to the end customer. And you can also set up on your website a, a plugin that basically will import products from another store into your store. And then people will come to your website and buy those products. But it doesn't come from you, it comes from the store and it gets sent straight directly to your customer. And a simplified version of that is when I had my online store, there were a couple of things that I used to sell mm. that I didn't actually keep in stock myself. And I had an arrangement with the supplier that, um, and one of the examples was window skins because they were made up to fit your specific vehicle. And if I got an order for that and then ordered it from the company and had it shipped to me and then I shipped it through to that the, the, the end customer, it would have added on how much money and how much time. So instead, I organize with that company that when someone orders from me, I just send the order to them and they send it directly to the customer. So that was like a, a very simplified version of drop shipping that I was no, doing. Exactly and it worked out really well. Yeah, that's exactly how drop shipping works, except yeah. most drop shipping companies are not in South Africa. They are yeah. in China or whatever. So literally, they're shipping from China to your customer and then you just get a commission, very similar to yeah. Redbubble. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, so my actually customer paid me. I paid the company. The company shipped the product. So exactly. it was a, it, mine That's was a, a manual way of doing it, but there's a way yeah. to kind of automate that whole process. But it's yeah. basically just being the middleman between the customer and and a big company. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, I went off on a tangent there and forgot to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> you used to talking of, to mompreneurs and people that are already blogging. So <laughs> yeah. No, we need to. Break it down a little bit. Okay. Sorry, so next item is be positive. Thanks, Leonora. Be positive. Yes. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Next one is selling your services. Um, oh, yeah. I, I love this one, and I think you know what I've noticed with a lot of the women, the moms that I speak to, is they're like, "What can I do? What can I do?" We did stuff before we had kids. We just got to utilize the skills that we already have. So if you were working as a bookkeeper somewhere else before you had children and now you're a stay-at-home mom, there's no reason why you can't do bookkeeping from home. There are online programs, there's QuickBooks, there's Pastel Online where you can work for people from home, do their books, and um, and just invoice them at the end of the month. So, you know, this is stuff that you can do. There's content writing. I hire content writers. Um, I know that Lauren does. Mm -hmm. um, you can transcribe stuff so you can do typing from home. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, there's graphic design, and like Lauren said, you don't have to know how to use Photoshop and stuff anymore. You can mm -hmm. use Canva. P.S. They have an affiliate mm -hmm. program. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so you <can. laughs> I've got to keep reminding everybody, you know, that everything is, when you blog and you work online, everything is interlinked. And if you have your website, you can do everything. Well, not everything, but, you know, you can do a lot with it. Um, and I Sell. Sorry, yeah, other services you can sell online. So I was a massage therapist for 10 years. So, um, and that isn't exactly a service I can sell online. But what I do now is something called EFT, um, emotional freedom technique, you know, tapping where you tap out all this stuff. And that you can sell online. So you can sell sort of coaching and consulting services. And um, you can even be a healer online nowadays. Um, so all of those things are services you can sell online and freelancing. Um, you and I, uh, Lynn, have both sold um, services as a freelancer. You've sold a whole lot more than I have on Fiverr. Fiverr is a freelance platform, which also has an affiliate program, by the way. Ah, I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> yeah. but but also, you pop up a gig on Fiverr where you say, I can do blah, blah, blah for you. Maybe it's like you can write their resume for them or you can create yeah. a pin pin for them or whatever it is you you whatever it is that you can do you say you can do it on fiverr and then people pay you to do it and then fiverr pays you the money yeah i think i've made over the last couple of years i've made ten thousand dollars on fiverr and yeah. that is through selling services that i already sell on my blog so it kind of works you know very much hand in hand 
But I think, you know, you can be a virtual assistant. You can do, I mean, if you were a, a personal assistant, you can do that online for like no, loads of different companies. Um, yeah. And I think also, you know, we focus mostly on the online stuff because that's what I do. It's what I know. But you can do dog walking. You can do babysitting. So say, for example, there's a whole stack of moms that have got their kids in aftercare at the school, but you're at home with your child in the afternoon. Why not have another three kids there, do all their homework together, and then you can get that money in. So, you know, you can look after children. <laughs> you can do that for free. Hey? <laughs> I've been offering that service for free. I never thought of charging for it. <laughs> well, one o'clock, I'm dropping my kids off. <laughs> <laughs> You can teach English, you can do hair, beauty, massage, you know, you can do all of this in your own time and you can do it around your kids. And I know it's hard to fit things around your kids, but like Lauren said, as they get older, you can kind of, you know, um, get a little bit more in. But even mm -hmm. if you can only give one massage a week or one haircut a week, that's one yeah. haircut a week you're getting paid for. So I don't yeah. see any reason why you don't go ahead and do that. Um, if you knew how to do that, I heard someone explaining that actually in a video yesterday that I was watching um, about all different ways you could make money online. And she was saying, yeah, if you know how to do good makeup, you could just go and do a quick little makeup artist course or whatever. Or maybe you don't even need that if you're really good at it. And you can get people coming and you can do their nails or their makeup or whatever. And yeah, selling those kind of services can make some really good money. Oh, totally. Um, yeah, totally. And, and one thing I've noticed, yeah, one, one thing as well that I've noticed is that um, moms support moms. So if yeah. I know that there's a mom that works from home and she does hair, I'd rather actually go there because it's it's supporting people like me. It's supporting the small businesses. It doesn't cost as much because that mom doesn't have all the overheads. Mm. And I just feel that, you know, for me, that's kind of where I'd like to go. And I think some of these home-run mom businesses do exceptionally well. They do really, mm. really beautifully. Absolutely. And it's such a nice thing to do. Yeah. So selling services is a really fun one. Um, think yeah. about what it is that you are passionate about that you can happily do all day long, every day. Um, well, you don't have that time, obviously, because you're also doing house. You don't have kids. <laughs> you know, yeah. So I yeah. Think what you can squeeze in, like, whenever you have a moment to make some money. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. But, yes, okay. I'm so good, Mom, and I, I do love that idea as well. Okay, next one. Surveys. Surveys and user testing. Now, there's a lot of websites that go and say you can earn hundreds of dollars a day doing surveys. Um, take that out of your mind. And if you see that, it's a scam, skip that website, okay? So I've been doing surveys and user testing for many years now. And there's one website in South Africa called Answered Insight that I really, really like. You get paid, I mean, it's peanuts, but if you're sitting at home, you've got an internet connection and you're not working and you don't have an income and you've got this baby that's sitting on your boob you've got 20 minutes on your phone to sit and do a survey and yeah it's only 20 bucks but it does add up you know once you've got done a couple of surveys i think there's been a couple of times i've been like feeling a little bit hungry at the end of the month and i log into my log into answer insight and i've got 500 bucks stashed there and i cash it out um, another website that i really love is um it's called y sense it used to be called click sense and why I love them so much is because they've got an affiliate program. And what I did about four years back is I wrote a couple of articles on my website about their surveys. I did a couple of YouTube videos and I just put some of their links into my posts every now and then. And people sign up and they do surveys. And I barely go in there. I logged in today for the first time this month to see that I made $10 this month from other people doing surveys. So that's, it's very small but it's residual income. And I've made over a hundred, no, I've made, I made a thousand dollars on that website. So, I mean, it does take a lot of time, but you, you kind of, it, it, it adds up over time. So yeah, check that out. And it's not going to make you rich, but it is something that you can do if you've got the spare time and you've got the, you know, it, I mean, I, I kind of, I love the service and I hate them because you get paid such a little amount for such a long, a long time, but it's not hard work. So it kind of like, it evens out. And then there's also, there's user testing. 
And I think that was the way Lauren made her first income online. Yay! Yay! Online, online. Woo Thank oh, you to Lizanne. <laughs> that was from a user <laughs> testing. Yeah, it was a user testing website, and I I was part of that website. And what you get paid to do is to test websites or apps. So what you do is you you put their um their program on and it records what you do while you're looking at the website and they give you tasks to do so they go and they say go look at this go look at that go try find this and they just record you and see how easy you find the website and this is companies that want to see is their website user friendly can people find everything that they need um and they usually pay about ten dollars for for one test which takes about 20 minutes or so but that time it was fifty dollars so um, I, I sent Lauren over there, and after I made my fifty dollars, I sent her, and she made her first fifty dollars online. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's really exciting. Yeah. yeah. See, so I that know is this. a really great. What if we're going to give away a prize, Lynn? Yes, I'm, I'm going to give away a prize. Yeah. But wait, then... you've got to wait for my agenda. Next oh, item. Okay. Oh, da -da -da -da. And oh, the winner. Yes. Leonora Cheval, is it? Leonora Cheval. For oh, wow. so many amazing comments. There were loads of comments from Leonora. She's been like really, really like switched on this whole way through the conversation. So Leonora, you are our lucky winner. Can you hear us? I need to type her name in here. Yeah, okay. Are you on Facebook as well? Da -na -na -na. Wait. Why is it not coming up? Ah, there she is. It's worked out really good. Cool. Okay, well, sure. This has been absolutely incredible. Um, Lauren, it's been fantastic having you here. It's been, you know, we get on so well and we've had such a great relationship, kind of like, you know, helping each other online over the years and forming a fantastic friendship. So, and I mean, I love your ideas because they kind of complement what I'm doing and you really stretch my imagination and I've signed up to Red Bubble using your link. I just oh, haven't had the time you. to make. Yeah, I haven't had time to make any products and I or designs, and I'm waiting for your course <laughs> so I can go I see how to I'm make everything. I want to figure it out. Twenty minutes. You should have gone there while you could. They discovered I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> No, no, I'll get there. I actually want to put my Kaboki stuff, my Kaboki logo onto a whole stack of products. And then I want to get like my own little laptop bag and my own little Kaboki mug. So when I'm on my video like this, it's like Kaboki. And then I can have a little, <laughs> have a little sip. It'll be great, you know. And then I think I can also give out prizes with my, my own stuff out. You know, it'd be like, oh. Exactly. Okay. I know. You know what I thought yeah. I could do? Because, you know, I interview these amazing mom entrepreneurs. And when, like, my business is really making some serious money, I would love to just surprise them with like something in the mail that has got like something they said on it. Like it's one of oh, these wow. amazing things. I want to like take a quote, put their name on it, maybe even a picture that they, if they, they sent me a really cool picture of themselves or something and send them this like mug or travel mug or something and say, you know, compliments of inspiring my friends. I can't wait to do something like that for one of my mom entrepreneurs. Well, all of them uh, actually, but, like I need I money. Want I want one. I'm sure you can find a quote from me, something I've said that you was You haven't given me an interview, Lynn. You can't start asking me. <laughs> I've been waiting for your interview for four freaking years. <laughs> but you haven't sent me your interview questions. I have. I'm sure more than once. I will send them again. Um, I will send them again. <laughs> send me your interview questions. I will answer them and I will send them back. And I'm sorry. Okay, no, I have been too to chastised online live. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get worse than this. You've got like. <laughs> well, now that we know how to do this, you know, yeah. we could actually, hey, we could do your interview like this. Why don't we do that as one of our Facebook lives? I've never done one like that. That would be awesome. Now you know how to use the program. She can yeah. do it for one page. Okay, I think we should do that. Yeah. Uh, P.S. This program has an affiliate program. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So I need to go very quiet. Are they tired of listening to us? Guys, you're not talking to us anymore. No, I think they're there. They are there because they're Hello. there. You go. Listen, you've just got to go down with the comments. Okay, so um, everybody have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for 
so much interaction, so many questions. Um, like I said, the electricity is going off in half an hour here. So I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and a bit of a rest and yeah. go fetch my kids, do a bit of a play date. And when I get back later, I'm going to come and answer all the comments. And I'm sure Lauren will too. And then later this video will be available on YouTube and on my website. And yeah, I hope to have you back again, Lauren. I know that I've asked you to come back for breastfeeding. I think it's oh, breastfeeding yeah. week or something like that. I've yeah. I've put you down as my person. I don't know if I even told you. Yeah, you did. No, you've told me a couple I of did I. You're my breastfeeding yeah. expert. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> awesome. Thank you, ladies. Have a fantastic week. And Leonora, I'll catch up with you soon. Have a good one. Good to meet you all, ladies. Bye. 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 <laughs> Cheers.